Now, spacecraft in atmosphere will eventually slow down until they reach terminal velocity, which is a little unusual because normally we speed up until we reach terminal velocity. So at this point, the air resistance pushing up will exactly equal the gravitational force pushing down. At terminal velocity, we're still traveling very, very quickly, so it's necessary to slow down a bit more before we hit the ground. So early spacecraft used parachutes to land. And in fact, uh, space capsules launched by rockets often use parachutes to land today. Soviet and Chinese capsules uh, land on the Earth using uh, very strong uh, spring-loaded shock absorbers and parachutes. And American capsules splashed into the ocean, including the capsules from the Apollo missions. Space shuttles have wings, which can be used to control their descent, so they don't need a parachute to stop them from falling down. When they begin re-entry, they hold up their nose at an angle of about 40 degrees, uh, which sort of maximizes the surface area across the specially shaped wing of the space shuttle. So the heat shield on the underbelly will absorb just about all of the heat from the re-entry because that's the front of the shuttle as it descends. And of course, it's built with ceramic insulating tiles, which prevents any of the heat from reaching the rest of the shuttle. They're flown in S-shaped banking turns, which lose a lot of speed every time uh, they go around the corner. Uh, however, they're still moving very, very fast. So 500 meters above the ground, they activate special flaps on their wings that will slow them down substantially. Uh, except we're still moving extremely fast, much faster than any uh, regular aircraft. So as the space shuttle lands, it'll need to deploy a drag chute to try and slow it down even more. And of course, if everything goes to plan, then we land on the runway, like a conventional aircraft. This means, of course, that the space shuttle can be reused. Right, so that's the end of the questions. We've talked a bit about deorbiting and ways to get back to Earth intentionally once in orbit.